The Hermes ground station, locking on to an Earth observation satellite. Imagery captured from space coming down to Earth. If some frontline command person wanted to know the area that they're going into, we can provide them with imagery information and more on what's in front of them. The satellite Carbonite 2 passes over the Hermes ground station three times a day. As it comes over the horizon, the ground station antenna locks onto it and the satellite transmits the pictures it's recorded in space. Satellite images of Buenos Aires, the coastline of Diego Garcia, and the airport in Dubai show the kind of detail you might get from a battlefield during conflict. The more you, you dig into the understanding just how much we rely on space. Air Vice Marshal Harve Smith is the MOD's first ever director space. It pretty much underpins all of our high-end capability like F-35 and uh, all of that. All of that uh, combat edge that gives us the operational advantage we enjoy over potential adversaries, all of which is enabled through space. Hermes represents the MOD's most significant investment in space in the last two decades. The team at DSTL have built it with support and training from UK company Surrey Satellite Technology. We build and manufacture uh, small satellites and it's that uh, heritage and operational use of satellites that we're able to bring to DSDL so that DSDL has that technical authority within the UK rather than, uh, you know, sort of learning from scratch themselves. The Hermes ground station demonstrates Britain's growing ambitions in this domain and the desire to increase space-related capabilities in defence. While Britain may not boast a $40 billion annual space budget to rival America, the UK does have some valuable niche capabilities in this domain NATO has declared fully operational. So for example, a small satellite technology in low Earth orbit, that's certainly an area of great interest to, to me and to us in MOD. How can we exploit low Earth orbit? We're talking 600 kilometers above the Earth, kind of where the International Space Station sits, um, so that we can do intelligence gathering, surveillance, communications, um, et cetera, with just small satellites in a constellation where they're all speaking to each other through a very, a very modern optical and laser communication techniques. Again, all of which are being driven with R&D activity at DSTL, and now we're supporting through the Space Directorate and MOD. But as nations around the world grapple with dangers from kinetic and cyber-related attacks in space, Britain's satellites and infrastructure needs resilience against enemy activity. If we're going to be increasing uh, the number of assets we have in space, we need to make sure that we can look after those in exactly the same way we would look after you know, uh, tanks going around the battlefield or ships at sea. Last July, the Russian Defence Ministry released a video of a test launch for an anti-satellite missile system. We're seeing other state actors commit more and more nefarious activity in space. There's a multitude of different ways to threaten space-based assets. And a lot of that threat can actually come from Earth-based equipment. So what we've seen... Uh, in a previous job, I was running the chaos out in the Middle East for all of the counter Daesh missions in Syria and Iraq. And we saw there the Russians were, they had specific uh, land-based jammers that they were using to jam satellites that then subsequently jammed communications, they jammed GPS codes, so it made it difficult, made our weapons uh, work harder to deliver the precision that we expect from them. But there is a spin-off from that. If you're flying overhead in a commercial airliner, that jammer is also jamming you. And now your navigation equipment isn't working and it's putting that at risk. So uh, having a, a, a more responsible approach to our behaviours, either in or to space, is really very key. A relocatable ground station like Hermes takes the UK to the next level of space capability. 
not just an interested partner benefiting from the expertise of allies, Britain now has sovereign assets in a domain that gets more important every day for defence and national security. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.